You can use Kisflow to dynamically manage and update values in a master datasheet. For an example, we'll show a simple leave request process. Start off with a master called Employee Leave Balances. Here, the first column can be the unique email of each employee. Then I'll have columns for the total yearly leave and the current balance. Make sure each column is a number field. Inside your app, you'll see the yearly balance and the current balance, which comes directly from the master. At the bottom of the form, I'm also calculating the total number of days from the table and displaying the new leave balance after it is approved. In the workflow, I want the master to be updated after HR processing takes place. I'll add the action here. Select the master that you want to update. You can also choose to create a new record if one doesn't exist. In the first row on the left, select the column in the master that you will use to find the correct row, and then map it to the right field on the form. In our case, I will use the employee email to find the right record. Then, add the master column you want to update, and choose the field in the form that will be used. In this case, I want the current balance to be updated with the new leave balance. You can also add a conditional formula if you only want the update to happen under certain circumstances. Here's the live form. You can see that it starts out displaying the data directly from the master. If I apply for a day and a half of leave, it shows me what my new balance will be, but only if it is approved. After I submit it, it goes for manager approval and HR processing. After HR processing, the master will automatically update with the new balance. And the next time I fill out the request, the new balance will show. That's how to use the create and update a master record action in KISSflow.